Hey guys, welcome back to Maverick Watch Reviews. Hey man, I've been away for a couple weeks, Maverick and I were sick, and I kind of wanted to take a little bit of a break, but I'm back now, I'm excited, I've got a really cool watch for you. Today we have the Citizen Promaster Aqualand 200 meter solar quartz diver, and this is model number BN2038-01L, and as usual, we're going to open this thing up, look at all the features and functions, check out the build quality, and then I'll let you know what I think of this brand new Aqualand by Citizen. Also, make sure you check out my Amazon shopping channel for all of my favorite watches that I've reviewed on this channel, and be sure to visit my Teespring merch store, pick yourself up a t-shirt or a mug. I'll make sure to put both of those links in the description field for you. All right, here you go. Typical Citizen watch box. You've got the, uh, the Pelican style case inside this outer watch box here. I really like these, especially these ProMaster Pelican style cases. I just think they're really, really cool, man. Of course, they're not really waterproof, but they look really cool. Let's open this thing up, see what you get. There you go. Now Citizen's doing this thing where they're not including manuals anymore. Uh, so if you wanna learn how to set the watch or register the watch or anything like that, you just need to go online and they tell you right there where to go. So, I mean, it's, you know, save some trees, nothing wrong with that. So there you go. Got a little piece of padding back here. I just wanna show you that it says Citizen back there. It's kind of molded on the the rubber there you go and of course here's a watch you do get a uh, strap extender that's what this thing is uh, instead of having like a um a dive extension built into the strap or like it's on a stainless steel bracelet you just actually add this strap to the existing polyurethane strap pretty cool really nice i love the buckles on these things and i'll show you the buckle on the actual watch too Guys, I've, I've been reviewing Citizens and Seikos for, for literally years now. And you know what? I gotta go ahead and say it, man. I'm giving the upper hand to Citizen because their quality control, the materials that they use, I hate to say it because I love a lot of Seiko watches too, but Citizen is just really knocking these watches out of the park. I mean, look at the, uh, and before I get into the review, let me rant a little bit. Look at the bezel alignment, perfect. Now everybody knows that Seiko has been having a problem with bezel alignments here recently. Uh, the materials they use, the polyurethane they use for the strap. I mean, Citizen by far has the best polyurethane slash rubber straps in the watch industry, I think. Look at a really nicely molded ProMaster logo there. I mean, it's just a super, super handsome watch, extremely well built. I just love this thing. So I guess a little bit of a spoiler alert. I love this watch. So let me go ahead and, uh, Take it out of here. You've got two movable keepers right here on the strap. And let's go ahead and go over the specs before I really dive, eh, dive deep into this thing. So I'll go ahead and put up the specs on the left-hand side of the screen. That is it for the, the Pelican style case and what you get inside. Let's get this out of the way. And let's go ahead and talk about this thing, man. God, it's a great looking watch. Let me see if I can adjust my light a little bit here. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the specs on the left-hand side of the screen. You're looking at a 46 millimeter case. It's 17 millimeters thick. It's 52 millimeters lug to lug. It's on a 22 millimeter polyurethane strap. It does have a mineral crystal. I wish it had a sapphire, but it has a mineral crystal. It's water resistant to 200 meters, which of course is 660 feet. You've got the J250 movement with a 10 month power reserve. They say between like 300 and 360 um, days. So it's actually between about nine and 10 months if you wanna get you know specific. Uh, of course, it's not windable, it's not an automatic watch. It is hackable. You do have the date over there at three o'clock with a really nice little uh, chromed out bezel there for the date. Uh, you don't have a day function. You have a signed screw down crown over here at four o'clock. There you go. Uh, you have pushers that are also screwed down over there at 8 and 10. You do have a water pressure sensor. That's this thing over here at 9 o'clock. You've got a water sensor, so when it goes into auto dive mode, this is actually what detects water, that right there. This is your water pressure sensor. This just detects the presence of water so it can go into that auto dive mode. Um, what else? You got maximum depth memory. Uh, you've got a rapid ascent alarm. You have got, like I said, an auto start dive mode, power reserve indicator over here at nine o'clock, insufficient charge warning. That's where, of course, where the second hand, when it's really low on charge, the second hand starts skipping every two seconds. And you have a 60 click, almost perfect unidirectional bezel. I love this bezel. And I'll show you this here in a minute as well. All right, so man, I love this watch, guys. I mean, it feels substantial. It's got the perfect amount of heft to it for me. 
I mean, just, I mean, the fit and finish is flawless on this thing. I mean, I get real anal. And I actually take a loop and I look at the dial and see if there's any imperfections where they applied the loom inside the indexes, uh, any you know, imperfections where they applied the loom inside the hands, you know, the hour, minute or second hand or any of these, um, these depth sensor hands. And I couldn't find anything wrong with this dial. I mean, it is a perfect dial. Again, great fit and finish. You get a nice coin edge bezel on the, uh, the bezel. <laughs> you got a nice coin edge here on the bezel is what I meant to say. And let me show you how perfect this thing is. 60 click and it lines up perfectly. Even though I'll never use this watch to dive, I just like it when the bezel lines up. And I think a lot of you like that as well. I mean, just perfect. Look at that, man. Perfect. Wow. Love it. Um, what else? Uh, you have a little bit of a combination of brushed and polished surfaces. Of course, you got a little bit of polish on the pushers here at 8 and 10. You got a little bit of polish here on the water sensor, the water pressure sensor. Uh, then you have some brushed areas on the lugs. You got a little bit of polish here on the bezel, a um, little bit of polish on the crown, like the actual ProMaster logo is polished. Uh, and then there's some brush surfaces as well. So, I mean, a big watch, I mean, 46 millimeters is not a small watch. So it's a big watch, but it doesn't wear that big, if that makes any sense. Let's go to the strap again. Love this polyurethane strap. Uh, it's pretty supple to start out with, but the more you wear this, the more this is going to wear in a little bit. Love that kind of laser molded or laser etched. I don't know how they do it, but I love the ProMaster logo like that. I love movable keepers. I hate any watch that has a stitched in keeper. Of course, this is, you know, a leather strap. But I love, you know, two movable keepers. And sometimes you really don't even need both of them. A lot of times on my Citizen watches, I remove one of the uh, movable keepers just because you really only need one. So let's go to the buckle. Really pronounced and big buckle with a big Citizen logo laser etched on that buckle. Love these buckles. Really nice. Very well. Just they feel so good. So substantial. Look, they go a lot of polishing underneath the buckle. And there's the tang right there. This is called your tang. This is your buckle. Let's go down a little more. I like the, the lines in the ProMaster underneath the ProMaster logo. Man, this is a good looking watch. I love the whole, you know, kind of red, white, and blue Pepsi kind of uh, color scheme they've got going on here. You could almost say this is like a patty version in a way, though it's not. But it's got, you know, the patty colors, red, white, and blue, patriotic, whatever you want to call it, Pepsi version, whatever. I, I just, I've always loved this red, white, and blue colorway on just about any watch. I mean, I love my uh, Patty Turtle. That's the same thing. I just love the red, white, and blue colorway. So let's go over to this side. Let's go over here. There you go. I mean, just, you know, the nice ProMaster logo is molded in there. Flip it over. I mean, just, a, I mean, a quality watch. I guess we're all, while we're on the back here, let's look at the laser etched case back. I mean, you get all the information you need. You know, you got your movement number, citizen, uh, eco drive, all laser etched on the case back. Y'all seen these case backs a million times. Same thing. And just a fantastic looking watch. Love this watch. So let's talk about these um, hands and pushers. First of all, I've unscrewed these. Let me screw these back. And this also has a hand correction function as well. So now the hand correction function is only for the dive hands. So let's go ahead and unscrew it. Okay, pull it out to the first position, that is your date. Pull it out to the second uh, position and two things are gonna happen, okay? One, the, um, the power reserve indicator is gonna go to ready. And I think the hands are gonna move for a second, let me see. Yeah, there you go. That's your uh, maximum depth hand. And then the one on top is your current depth hand. And then it says ready. So what's gonna happen is, obviously this was screwed back in and you were to go into the water, this sensor would tell that hand to move to ready, and then the, the watch is actually going into auto start dive mode. So it'll start measuring the depth the second it hits the water. I think it has to hit the sensor, uh, I think for like two seconds, I believe. So anyway, but what you can do with this is you can also adjust these hands. Let me unscrew these here. All right. So if they're not lining up, this is their, their default position, okay? So I think you hold the bottom left-hand button for two seconds, and I think the maximum dive hand is going to twitch for a second. Okay, that's the current one. So now I'm able to move this one, okay? So if it wasn't lining up perfectly with that 3 o'clock, 
I'm sorry, it was the maximum depth. There you go. So I want to stop it. It'll stop right there. Keep going. And it only moves uh, clockwise, by the way. It does not move counterclockwise. I tried it. Actually, I went a little too far. Let's go back. Actually, let's leave that one there. Let me show you the other one. Then if you want to move the current depth meter hand, press the button again. It twitches for a second. And now it's allowed to move. So now it'll move. And you could you don't have to set these at three o'clock. You can set them at, you know, twelve o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock. You can set them in different positions, whatever. But this is just their default position pointing to three. Okay. And I'll fix this here in just a second. So it's where it's supposed to be at the default position. There you go. So that's basically it for those hands. Again, the red one is your current depth, and the one that looks kind of like a I don't know, kind of like the Concord. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. That one is the last maximum depth that the uh, watch achieved. Okay. So go ahead and push the crown back in. These will go back. Now that's the that's the default position for this one. And normally, like I said, they're both in the same position over there at three o'clock. And the power reserve indicator goes back to its normal position instead of saying ready. Now, right now, it's about eh, it's about it's got about half of its power reserve, so about five or six months. Uh, and again, this normally between nine and ten months is about the average for these watches. So, I mean, everything lines up. I mean, if you look at the second hand, the minute hands, I mean, it's just a fantastic and very well built watch. The quality control Citizen uses, I think, it really is much better than Seiko right now. Not that Seiko can't catch up one day. And I'm not saying all of their watches are having quality control issues, but Citizen just seems to just, I think they're just better right now. And I've reviewed tons of Citizen watches and ton of Seiko, you know, a ton of Seiko watches. And I just think they're doing a better job, man. So let's go ahead and screw these, these pushers back down. Nice screw action, by the way. And then I think these pushers are also polished. Yep, they're polished. And we'll go ahead and try this thing on. I mean, it's not a super complicated watch, guys. I mean, it really isn't. Again, you've got your, you know, hour, minute, second hand, your date window over there at three, and uh, these uh, maximum depth hands, the maximum depth hand and your current depth right there. And I think if you, let me see, if you push one of these with the crown screwed in, it tells you the last depth the watch achieved. Then I think it's gonna not going to point correctly because I, adjusted the resting position of the hand. No, I think it's the other one. Let me see here. But again, you're going to have to go online. These don't come with manuals anymore, so you're going to have to go online. There it is, yeah. So right now, it, it would have actually pointed to five, which I think is five meters, I believe. It would have pointed here if I had adjusted it. If I had left it at its normal position at 3 o'clock, let's go ahead and push it back. Actually, it goes back. It automatically goes, goes back after a couple seconds. There you go. Now, normally a full charge for these watches uh, is about 36 hours in full sunlight. So those of you who are wondering, you, don't, you want to do at least, you know, the manual says at least five or six hours a week in bright sunlight if you can uh, to kind of keep it charged. But if it's, you know, if it goes dead, if it starts, you know, ticking off every two seconds and it eventually dies, a full charge from a dead battery is, according to Citizen, about 36 hours. So, you know, take it out one day, go somewhere in a nice sunny day uh, for actually, you know, a couple days. You're not going to be out for 36 hours straight, obviously, uh, but 36 hours and it'll be fully charged. Never set these watches in a window. They get too hot, especially on a hot summer day. Just wear it outside on a sunny day and you'll, you'll charge it up. Now, of course, you can charge it with incandescent light, the old, you know, old style light bulbs or fluorescent light. It's just going to take longer to do that. So anyway, there you go. Uh, what else about this thing, man? That's really about it. Oh, there are uh, two other, actually, well, three other, well, two other models like this one. So the other models are, there's an all stainless steel. Let me put that on left-hand side of the screen. This is the all stainless steel version with the red bezel, and that's model number BN2039-59E. The older, bigger model at 53 millimeters is BN2029-01E, and that's basically got all the same specs as this one, except for it's bigger. I think it can maybe take uh, deeper measurements or something, but it's like $200 more than this one, and I don't understand why. It's a bigger watch, but I don't understand why it's more expensive by $200 than this one. And then the uh, limited edition model, which is going to have 6,000 units, and that's model number bn 
2037-11E, and that comes out in June. That's one of those uh, Aqualand Promaster 30th Anniversary Limited Edition models. This is the 30th uh, anniversary model as well, but it's not a limited edition one. But that one is going to be like 700 and some dollars, and it comes out in June. So let's go ahead and try this thing on. Oh, man, I love these. I love these citizen straps. I've always loved these citizen straps. They're just, God, they just they feel so good. Actually, let me pause the video. Hold on a second. All right, there we go. So there you go, man. It's a great, great looking watch. Love that buckle too. Fantastic looking watch. Love these things. Let's go ahead and take a uh, loom shot here. Let's go ahead and kill the studio light. Let's zap this thing. It's already glowing a little bit. Now, any of y'all that know that uh, that have watched my reviews, you, you know I love Citizen's Loom color better than Seiko's. Actually, let me kill the uh, let me kill the monitor too here. There we go. Wow, nice. Really, really nice. There you go. So this is actually, you know, this really doesn't have that cobalt blue loom except for on those dive hands. I just noticed that. So it's basically green everywhere else except for the current dive uh, depth rating hand and the maximum recorded depth hand right there, the one that looks like the Concorde right there. So those are actually cobalt blue. Everything else is green, kind of the same color as uh, Seiko's Loom. So there you go. Man, good looking watch. All right, so guys, that's really been about it for this one. I'm trying to think of anything else I might have forgotten. Um, that's, man, that's really about it. Fantastic looking watch. Feels great on the wrist, nice functionality, durable, well-built. Um, man, you just can't go wrong with these Citizen Divers, man. You just you can't do it. So if you want to get one, head on over to Amazon and pick yourself up one. Also, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell. All of us YouTubers really, really appreciate it. Uh, and guys, it's really been a, it. I, and guys, that's really been about it for this one. I've got some really cool stuff coming in about a week and a half or maybe maybe less than a week. I'm still waiting on that collaboration with that Japanese seller. Uh, I think the watches are on the way now. We got everything worked out. So actually, I'll be reviewing three watches from them. Uh, so I'm really, really excited. I've got another watch from another company coming up. Um, and that one's a little bit, a little bit odd. And you'll see why when I review it. But uh, anyway, guys, again, this has been the Citizen Pro Master Aqualand 200-meter solar quartz diver, and this has been model number BN2038-01L. And until the next review, I will see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.